Barbary lion, although some say that pure Barbary lions do exist in captivity. These claims have been refuted. The Barbary lion, Panthera leo leo, also known as the Atlas lion, is an African lion population that was once native to North Africa, particularly the Atlas Mountains. The population of the Barbary lion, also known as the North African lion, has been declining since the mid-19th century as a result of the introduction of weapons and rewards for killing him, according to Pease. In 1942, close to Tizi and Tichka in Morocco, a wild Barbary lion was last seen being shot. Small populations of Barbary lions may have continued to exist in Morocco and Algeria till the middle of the 1960s. The type specimen for Linnaeus's 1758 usage of the species name Felis Leo was a lion from Constantine, Algeria, based on a type specimen from Barbary, Johann Nepomuk Mayer, an Austrian biologist, initially described the Barbary lion under the trinomen Felis Leo Barbaricus. For a long time, the Barbary lion was thought to be the largest African felid and one of the largest lion subspecies. Male Barbary lion museum specimens were said to have long, very dark manes that reached from the shoulder to the belly. Stuffed males range in length from 2.35 to 2.8 meters, 7 featuring 9 into 9 featuring 2 in, from head to tail. While females are closer to 2.5 meters, 8 featuring 2 in, the weight of wild males was stated to be exceptionally high and ranging from 270 to 300 kilograms, 600 to 660 pounds, in a major description from a hunter in the 19th century. However, the measure's accuracy may be in doubt, and the sample size of captive Barbary lions was too little to draw any firm conclusions on which lion subspecies was the largest, before it was possible to look into the genetic diversity of lion populations. It was believed that the color and size of lion manes were diverse enough morphological traits to provide populations a subspecific classification. Long-term research on lions in the Serengeti National Park has revealed that a number of variables, including ambient temperature, nutrition, and testosterone levels, affect the color and size of lion manes. Zoo animals from Europe and North America that are raised in sub-Saharan Africa typically grow larger manes than their wild counterparts. Because of the significantly cooler temperatures in the Atlas Mountains than in other parts of Africa, especially during the winter, barbaric lions may have evolved long hairy manes. As a result, it is believed that the size of manes is insufficient proof of descent to the Barbary lion. A distinctive haplotype discovered in museum specimens that are thought to be descended from Barbary lions supports the genetic distinctiveness of these cats. According to mitochondrial DNA research findings released in 2006, this haplotype is regarded as a trustworthy molecular marker for identifying Barbary lions that have survived in captivity. Pease noted in 1913 that lions were typically found in couples or family groups, which included a lion, lioness, and one or more cubs, in locations where they were not extremely common. He frequently came across two elderly lions and a lioness coexisting and engaging in joint hunting. Between 1839 and 1942, wild Barbary lions were observed in lone, couple, and family groups. According to an analysis of these historical documents, Barbary lions continued to live in prides despite growing persecution in recent decades particularly in the eastern Maghreb. While the density of the Barbary lion population is thought to have been lower than in moister habitats, 
The size of prides was likely comparable to prides living in sub-Saharan habitats. Barbary lions preyed on properly managed herds of livestock when Barbary stags and gazelles became scarce in the Atlas Mountains. Additionally, they preyed on red deer and wild boar. Between Wassenus in the west, the Pic de Taza in the east, and the lowlands of the Chelif River in the north, among the forest-covered hills and highlands of Algeria, they dwelt in the forests and wooded hills of the Constantine province, which extended east into Tunisia and south into the Oars Mountains. There were also lots of lions. They were considerably fewer by the middle of the 19th century. Lions lived in the cedar forests of Chelia and the nearby mountains until about 1884. By 1890, all last survivors in Tunisia had vanished. The early 20th century was thought to have seen the extinction of Barbary lions in the wild in the 1970s. The last Barbary lion, however, was apparently killed in the Moroccan portion of the Atlas Mountains in 1942. According to a thorough assessment of hunting and observation data, Barbary lion sightings continued throughout the 1950s in Morocco and Algeria. And tiny remnant populations may have persisted into the early 1960s in isolated locations. In the Colosseum, Roman gladiators fought against Barbary lions. DNA tests on two well-preserved skulls discovered at the tower in 1936-1937 revealed that the lions kept in the menagerie at the Tower of London during the Middle Ages were Barbary lions. The radiocarbon dates of the skulls range from 1280 to 1385 and from 1420 to 1480. By isolating lion populations, the development of civilizations along the Nile and in the Sinai Peninsula at the start of the second millennium BC prevented genetic flow. The Barbary lions were unable to interbreed with lions living further south on the continent. Due to desertification, in the past, Barbary lions were presented to the Ethiopian and Moroccan royal families as presents and in place of taxes. The Moroccan kings retained these royal lions during war and uprising, dividing the collection to zoos when the royal family temporarily fled the country. The present monarch built cages for the royal lions in Tamara, close to Rabat, Morocco, to house them and enhance their quality of life after a respiratory illness nearly wiped them off in the late 1960s. There are currently just a few royal lions, with the ancestry and physical traits to be regarded as primarily pure Barbary descendants. When the exiled ruler was restored to the throne, some were brought back to the palace. Barbary lions were frequently housed in hotels and circus menageries during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. On the Duke of Wellington's instruction, the lions in the Tower of London were relocated to the London Zoo in 1835 where they now live. In more humane circumstances, in 1896, a well-known Barbary lion by the name of Sultan was housed at the London Zoo. Barbary lions were kept in the Addis Ababa Zoo as a collection by Ethiopia's Emperor Haile Selassie I. Five lions from the renowned collection of the King of Morocco that have been tested have been found to not be maternal Barbary lions. However, since the Barbary lion was one of the most commonly introduced subspecies, DNA from this species are likely to be found in typical European zoo lions. Since they are kept without subspecies categorization, many lions in European and American zoos are actually partially descended from Barbary lions. A lion specimen maintained in the German Neuwied Zoo was found to have come from the King of Morocco's collection and is most likely descended from a Barbary lion in 2006. According to MTDNA study, a thorough investigation on the evolution of lions included 357 samples from 11 lion groups.
The findings show that four Moroccan, Atlas, lions lacked any distinctive genetic traits. The Moroccan cats belong to a significant mtDNA grouping, lineage 3, that also included samples from Asia, and they shared mitochondrial haplotypes, H5 and H6, with Central African lions. The authors claimed that this circumstance supported their lion evolution beliefs. According to their findings, lineage 3 originated in East Africa around 118,000 years ago. And in the first wave of lion expansions that left the area, it moved north and west. According to reports, it split into the haplotypes H5 and H6 in Africa and the H7 and H8 in West Asia. Although the genetic distinctiveness of the historical Barbary lion, which was visually distinct, is still debatable. The taxonomic status of living lions that are widely referred to as Barbary lions, including those that came from the King of Morocco's collection, is still unknown. A couple of Barbary lions are allegedly kept at the Living Treasures Wild Animal Park in New Castle, Pennsylvania. In France's Vendée region, the Zoo des Sables de Lan also states to have a male and female Atlas lion. The only chance that the Barbary lion will ever be seen in the wild in North Africa is due to its prior prominence as a zoo animal. Numerous zoos offer mating programs that will aid in growing the population of the species. The ambitious International Barbary Lion Project was started by WildLink International in partnership with Oxford University following years of study into the science of the Barbary Lion and accounts of surviving specimens. Oxford identified the DNA, fingerprint, of the Barbary lion subspecies using the most recent DNA technology. Researchers collected bone samples from the remains of Barbary lions from museums in Brussels, Paris, Turin, and other cities throughout Europe. The research team at Oxford University used these samples to derive the DNA sequence necessary to classify the Barbary as a distinct subspecies. WildLink International looked to find a few lions in captivity throughout the world who may be descended from the original Barbary lion despite the fact that the Barbary is extinct and is undoubtedly extinct in the wild. The degree of any hybridization, from crossbreeding, would be assessed once these descendants were compared to the DNA fingerprint. The most qualified applicants would then be admitted to a selective breeding scheme intended to breed back the Barbary lion. The project's last stage called for the release of the lions into an Atlas Mountains National Park in Morocco. Two lion cubs were sent to the Texas Zoo in Victoria, Texas, in March 2010, where the species was being protected through the WildLink International Conservation Program. The cub's Barbary lion ancestry has not yet been established. A female Barbary lion was brought to the Port Lim Animal Park in Kent in 2011 to breed with the local male. Recently, a number of scientists and zoos have supported the creation of a stud book of lions that are directly descended from the collection of the King of Morocco. Based on the precautionary principle, this research was done to show the morphology of the ancestor Barbary lion as well as show that this subgroup of animals may have special Barbary lion genes. Thanks for watch.